All right, back again, Luke here, and today I wanted to show you something that's been sitting around in my room here for the last three months, and that is this Dual Dragon skill machine. Well, there's a little bit of an interesting story behind this. I actually was not looking for this at all, but I went down to Hard Off uh, a few months back to try and get a hard drive for one of my PCs, and I got the hard drive, brought it home, tried it out, and the hard drive didn't work. Went back, I got another hard drive, brought it home, it still didn't work. So I thought, well, maybe it's the PC. So I tried it out in three different, or in uh, two different PCs, and it still didn't work. So when I went back for the third time, I just talked to the guy, and it was a different guy that I usually talked to, um, who was there that day. And I told him, I said, look, these hard drives aren't working, so I'd just like to get a refund. Unfortunately, the guy said that with hard drives, they weren't allowed to give refunds on them because people have a tendency to open them up and tamper with them, so the most he could do was store credit. And I thought, well, you know, okay, I'm not really looking for anything right now, but I guess. So went looking around the store. That day, there was almost nothing uh, in the store. But when I went into the back, I could see this little corner sticking out. And it was just all buried with speakers and all sorts of stuff. So I unburied it and found that it was this machine. And on the speak uh, on the sticker itself, it originally said uh, like 5,000 yen or like $50. And uh, over time, it looked like that there were many different stickers put over it because the last sticker that was on it was only 500 yen. So I called the guy over and I asked him, you know, what's the deal with this? Why is this 500 yen? And he said that some of the lights were burnt out and the LCD display didn't light up and the front button here uh, had some intermittent problems like you would press it and the light would go off and come on and the fact that this thing was sitting in the store he said probably for the last three years uh, and he didn't really remember uh, that they still had this thing but it was just laying in the back there and I discovered it so I thought well you know I'm not a big slot machine player but I, I, I'll give it a shot and the thing did come with a bunch of coins in it too, so I figured, well, maybe it'll be a little bit of a project to work on. But I wound up getting this little beast to work. I had to rip out the LCD screen in it and do a lot of different tinkering around with it. Still didn't get this light here to work properly. It still does have intermittent, uh, intermittent problems, but yeah, it works for the most part. Let's uh, open this monster up here and take a look at the inside. If we can do this one-handed. Now in the back here, if you take a look at the uh, inside of this, you have your main board and this board here controls all the lighting in the front, also controls the spinning of the reels here and it controls the payout. Now interesting thing about these machines, they're called skill machines here in Japan, but you really don't need to have a lot of skill to play these. Because of the randomization of the payout and the uh, computer itself running basically everything, you could press the buttons in any order, at any time, um, at any speed, and if the PC, uh, the unit itself is ready to pay out, it'll pay out. If it's not, it won't. So for those of you looking to get these kind of machines here, uh, and you just want to keep them around for just looks or display or just for fun with family, things like that, it's, uh, it's not too bad. But if you're looking to get these things and thinking you can cheat the machine, uh, it, you, gotta, you got another thing coming here <laughs> with these units because they are totally randomized. I think I've um, gotten the machine to pay out like uh, three times so far. And the one time it was just paying out insane amounts. It was going crazy. And I tried pressing the buttons in different orders and different speeds and whatever, but it still kept coming out the same and it you know it was set to pay out so no matter what you pushed it would pay out but got it going so uh yeah <laughs> it's a bit of an interesting uh machine for sure down here you have the coin dispenser and this thing is pretty loud i i had no idea how loud this thing was going to be but it basically sounds like a lawnmower going over a bunch of rocks i mean it just chomp, 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 when it shoots out coins and uh, it can be quite distracting for sure and over here we have the power supply. This is our on-off switch here. It has the uh, service lock. Uh, this one thing was actually a cam lock that I took out and it's sitting over here right now. This will allow you to change some of the settings and the payout. It's got a reset button on it. If you look at the front part of the uh, board here, you can see these are where all the lights are. These things are really easily accessible, easily uh, changeable. I picked up some lights put those in. I think there's still maybe one burnout one, but not too bad. 
The biggest problem was trying to get this display out, this LCD display. In order to do that, I had to rip off this whole front panel. I had to rip off the top part here, had to rip off this board just to get at this small little LCD screen. And I uh, got in there, fixed it up, cleaned up the back part of it because it was just covered in dust. Uh, I also had to take this uh, coin slot off. Uh, it was locking up some of the times uh, just because there's a magnetic uh, polarization or some sort of uh, magnetic lock on here that locks it when uh, a coin goes in but and then releases it after your turn but that wasn't making a connection uh, down here on the bottom I also put a couple of pods on these speakers because these uh, skill machines are quite loud and if you're in a room especially a room that really um, it's easy to hear sounds in you got to have something on there or else you're going to be killing the neighbors. Although that's not always a bad thing. <laughs> uh, this is the board here that runs the LCD screen that has the game on it. Uh, the little mini games and the uh, display for the pictures and movies. But let's flip the switch here. Turn it on. We've got our lights. And close this beast up here. Kind of kill the lights back here. What you'll notice is uh, the little replay switch here, or the little replay light that's up there. Start. I think this is the one that's burnt out, is the one that says insert metal. These machines are called metal machines in Japan. And you'll notice here on the front, this is Mr. Do from the arcades. So any of you who have played the uh, Mr. Do arcade games, it shows a little bit of history here on it, and some of the earlier ones. Now there's no sound here when it's in the display mode, uh, just in the in this mode here. And I'm not sure if that's intentional or if that's a different problem, but I've tried to mess around with different settings to see if there was any sound that would output just while it was on this display mode, and there wasn't, so I'm guessing. I'm not a big expert here on these skill machines, but I'm guessing that there's no sound. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's still a couple of gouges in the screen. I tried to, uh, or on the plastic here on the front cover, I tried to clean that up as best as I could, but it was still kind of hard to get out. But This came out in 1999, which by Japan standards, as far as electronics go, this is a prehistoric dinosaur, and, you know, nobody would want something like this. Uh, probably most people would be looking at something made in the uh, mid-2000s, like 2005 or 2004, but something 1999, there's probably a reason why this thing was sitting back there for so long. Nonetheless, I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is just the little intro here. It's got a little intro movie. It's got Mr. Do uh, hanging out on the front panel here. I'll go and check this out here. Um, he's hanging out right there, and down here at the bottom, the dual dragon sign on the front here, you'll notice the D is red, and the O is red for do, and there he is down there. Now let's just grab a couple of coins and see what this thing can do. Over here it'll show you how many lines of payment, or how many lines of payout. So right now I think we got, what is it, one, two, three, four, four lines, but let's give it a shot. And, let's see, do. <laughs> so, I didn't get anything. It was kind of funny. I liked it when he fell. <laughs> Try this again. Ooh, okay, got seven coins here. Now let's eject this thing and see what, what sounds it makes. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> and that's only after a few coins. Let's try. Put a few more in here. Oh, I think we might have gotten a coin jam. Doo -doo. Putting in too many at the same time. <laughs> oh! 
Lucky. Nice. <laughs> Gave me nothing. <laughs> it's great. Lucky seven, but what do I get from that? Okay, we got some nights going on here. And nothing. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just want to show you this little skill machine here. Uh, it's not too bad. It's kind of an interesting little uh, machine. But uh, for myself, I'm not uh, very skilled at it. Or it's not paying out, you know, the way it should. But <laughs> nonetheless, uh, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So. Thanks for watching.